Hey everybody, it's Jonathan from Curto's Ring of Fire in Westchester County, New York. Welcome to another video post where I wax, sometimes poetically, about outdoor living projects that we've worked on, grills, smokers, pizza ovens, and sometimes delve into the world of appliances as well, all to help you with your um, purchase journey, okay, on the research side. Um, today we are going to talk, we're going to answer a question actually, it's a question that has been posed to me, both by a reporter as well as by customers, and that is, will an outdoor kitchen increase the value of my home, okay? Um, I was actually asked, I was interviewed actually by the New York Times in July of 2011, you could actually look for the article um, uh, online, um, where I was asked this question, will they... Um, Will they add value to my home and um, resell value? And you know, back then that was that was nine years before COVID, before there was this boom in outdoor living, which really started a few years before COVID. But obviously, COVID COVID was taking a match to uh, uh, gasoline. Um, you know, back then I said that there it could um, enhance value. Uh, projects ran anywhere from say 10,000 up to over a hundred grand. It depended on the project, et cetera, et cetera. So now posed with this question again, okay, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult to answer. I'm going to tell you that my answer is no, they, an outdoor kitchen will not add resale value to your house but there are countering opinions out there and some opinions uh, from people that I actually work with who are in the, the builder's trade, okay? So we'll get into what they have to say about it shortly. We need to distinguish the difference between an outdoor kitchen and an outdoor living project, okay? Because an outdoor kitchen, an island with a grill, storage, refrigeration, maybe lighting, etc. I personally don't think that is going to add value, resell value to your home, but an outdoor living project could. Something that would allow true indoor, outdoor living, stuff like building a pergola, putting in a pool, laying down a new patio, a fire pit, a fireplace, a TV outside, you are now extending the footprint of where you are actually inhabiting, okay, at this domicile. So I think there's an argument, argument to be made that that could increase the value, but it's also going to be relative to the market. If you live in a home, right, that is, say, worth $250,000, if you invest $50,000 in an outdoor living project, that you are pricing yourself out of your market, all right? So it's there's so many different factors that are involved with this. You could see that it's just not a simple black and white, cut and dry answer. Too many variables, but I'm gonna to try to help as much as I can. They want to install an outdoor kitchen, something like a straight line or an L, 10 by eight, whatever it is. There's no pool, there's no pergola. It's just a straight on outdoor kitchen. In my opinion, it's not adding value to the home. What it is doing is, is adding happiness, enjoyment, and um, a lot of great food that's gonna likely be cooked outside. It's going to add memories, okay? So these are intangible things, not dollars, but intangible things that are added to your experience, your time living at the house, okay? You start to put in things and take it to one other level with a pool and this and that, then you, one could certainly argue that that's going, to add, uh, that's going to add potentially significant value to the house. Now, if I take a builder, all right, I have noticed a change in the last, say, five to seven years, certainly post-COVID, that where in the past, a builder doing a spec home would simply be looking at doing the kitchen and buying laundry products from us, maybe doing a wet bar downstairs. Um, the bunch of them, not all, 
but a bunch of them now are adding the outdoor component as well. I actually have one builder that I work with out in the Hamptons, and I know this is like an outlier situation because the homes are very, very expensive. He will typically put two outdoor kitchens on their um, in their projects, one on the roof and another poolside. So again, it really depends on the marketplace and the project. To be truthful, in um, as I always am, in Westchester County, which is the core of our business, I don't see many builders doing spec homes and telling me, hey, there's an outside component as well. What they may do is credit homeowners if they want something like that, they'll point them to us to buy this stuff, maybe give them a credit towards it, but they're not gonna take the time to build or have us build it. I, I just haven't seen much of it. I've seen, I've seen some, but it's, it's definitely in the minority. So I think the takeaway from this, aside from the fact that it's a very difficult question to give you a black and white answer, is that it just really depends on the situation and the market that you are in. But I would not look at building an outdoor kitchen as a um, vehicle to increase the value of your home. It just doesn't work that way, in my opinion. The island should be looked upon as something to extend the footprint of where you live in the home and as a place where there is going to be a lot of fun, a lot of memories created. You're going to have parties out there, parties for your children. You're going to have great memories created in this space. And to me, that is something that has incredible value that potentially is immeasurable. Um, you can't put a dollar figure on it. So again, you're gonna be in the house for a while, build one, enjoy it, love it. If you're going to be in the, at the house for a short period of time, okay, and you're thinking about, well, if I add this, I'm gonna add X amount of dollars to the value of the home to add to it, it's bunk. I don't believe it. If there are other people who may counter that opinion, I'd love to hear from them. But from what I see in the builder trade and what I see in talking to customers here, that's just really not happening, okay? Except for some extreme examples, as I mentioned with the Hamptons one. If you have any other questions about this topic, please, please hit me up, john, J-O-N, at curtos.com. Come in, visit the Ring of Fire. We're here in Yonkers, all the major parkways, highways, dump out minutes away from us. Very easy, very accessible to get to from all over Westchester, Fairfield County, and New York City. Folks, once again, I thank you for your time.